Every member of the Action News family has fond memories of Gary Papa. It would be impossible not to. Meteorologist Cecily Tynan and Dave Roberts shared a few of theirs with us tonight. When I was pregnant with my first child, Luke, he kept saying, do you have a glider? Do you have a glider? I said, no, Gary, you know, I have, I have a, a big comfortable chair in my room. I don't need a glider. Sure enough, a couple days after Luke was born, who's at my door but Gary with this huge blue glider? You need a glider. And came in and brought the glider. He had Nathaniel and Tucker, and I think they stayed for about two, three hours, you know, playing around the house and, and holding the baby. And he just, he made you happy. He was so full of life. And I think we all thought he could beat this. Jim, and Gary, and I had so much fun with these iPhones on the set. And we always used to text messages. Uh, I texted him a message the other day. It said, uh, Gary, I'll see you at the race on Sunday. Uh, I didn't get a reply from him. And I knew then something was seriously wrong. And uh, the last text that I got from Gary was, Love and live. And that's what Gary did. Thank you, David. Thank you, Cecily. You are in the unique position of yeah. having known Gary only after his diagnosis. It's the truth. Yeah. And yet you have had more than your fair share of his wit, his humor, his <laughs> larger-than-life oh, stature. You've known yeah. Gary the way all of us have, and, and only as a prostate cancer victim. That's the truth, and you know, I admired his strength, I admired his spirit, I loved that he was an emotional guy, um, and he always put the person in front of him first rather than himself, and I saw that, and in one instance with that is, I remember a couple years ago, my stepfather was diagnosed with prostate cancer, knew I was emotional, walked in the weather office and handed me this book, you know, Survive, Guide to Surviving Prostate Cancer. It was a book he read when he first was mm -hmm. diagnosed. And I, you know, there's actually parts of this where he Underline highlighted for you, you know, for me, you know, to read to my family because he says it's not only you as the patient who's going through it, but it affects the entire family. So it goes to show you that he was thinking of me, he was thinking of my other family while going through treatment. Um, and another f more enlightening um, memory of him was a couple of years ago, my 30th birthday party. Uh, Jamie Apodi put on, you know, he's going to come, he's going to come. He was going through treatments. He was, he was at work. Um, and after midnight, you know, the news was over, guess who strolls in? But Gary Papa. You expect him and, to miss a good party. I know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but he, uh, you know, and everyone, just everyone's faces when he walked in was so excited to see him in there. And he still had a fantastic time knowing how much pain he was in. He was, he was quite a remarkable, remarkable man. And he, that ma all, he, he, was, ma he made an impression. A huge impression on my mother and you know my, my mother read him once or twice and my mom is a, a Red Sox fan and he's the you know of course a Phillies fan and they used to battle my mom and him when when they would talk and um, she was very sad in the news but just was very um, um, she was just overwhelmed by the generosity he brought into my family when my stepdad was going through this as well thank so, you um, also would you like a little weather a little weather yeah let's the race you expect to win that race don't you uh, it's, uh, this time it's not about winning, this time it's about being there yes, in support exactly for him right. and that's, a good tribute. That's exactly right. Yeah. Having said that, Cecily's husband probably... <laughs> oh, he's going to beat everyone. She'll be right behind him, too. <laughs> and I'll be following. Thank you, sir. Yeah, you too. Well, behind the scenes at Action News, Gary was beloved by many colleagues of our viewers and many colleagues that our viewers didn't see on camera. For instance, longtime sports producer Mark Meany worked with Gary over the past 10 years. Mark and Gary spent many a long day on the road covering the Eagles, the Phillies, the Flyers, and the Sixers. He never slept. He was always up. He was always joking, laughing, thinking about work, but at the same time thinking about his family. And um, no one worked harder than him. He was always thinking about sports. He was always thinking about that night's sportscast. How could it be better? What can we do? Uh, trying to get everybody to think, to work together. He, he, was a, uh, he was a true leader, and he was the rock of our sports department, and um, you know, he really brought us all together. A lot of things. Longtime Action News editor Matt Adamchek also shared fond memories Gary with Gary. Really, um, both of us are kind of odd ducks, because I'll tell you the story. When we used to come back from the weekends, you know, I used to go in the sports office, and everybody, I don't think a lot of people really know about that.
uh, movies that we saw or plays that we saw. Gary was quite the Renaissance guy. I don't think a lot of people really know about that. Well, they're learning it now. Tonight in our newsroom, we remembered Gary with stories like these as we mourn the loss of a member of our family. Tonight we are remembering our beloved, and we will go to Jamie Apodi and Keith Russell in just a moment, but first, tonight we are remembering our beloved colleague, Gary Papa. Gary brought his passion to his reporting, and it was infectious for everyone who was watching him. The broadcast pioneers recognized that passion, and on November 16, 2007, inducted Gary Papa into the Broadcast Hall of Fame. That night, Gary spoke humbly through his tears, thanking his colleagues and his family while accepting the award, and we wanted you to share some of that speech with us tonight. At 11.35 with Football Frenzy, how the Eagles beat the best team in the National Football League right here on their home turf. But for now, Gary Papa with your Eagles in East Rutherford, New Jersey. <laughs> This was the scene before the actual awards ceremony, and here was Gary Pop. I work for the greatest station on the planet. I love you people so much. Jamie and Keith, God, I envy you guys. You guys are so damn talented and so damn driven. And you're not half as crazy as I was. <laughs> Believe me, you think you are nuts. You don't have a clue. Ask Jim how nuts I was. <laughs> I still am. It's no accident that we have so much fun, because it's my family. And it's beyond work, and it's beyond friendship. It is a bond of life and death. We live it every day. We live it gloriously, and we live it with style. And Jim Gardner. To sit next to him and to make him laugh when he shouldn't laugh. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> oh, the evil magic of Gary Papa and Keith Russell and Jamie of Pody. Both of you got to see that magic at work every day. Oh, it's tough. <laughs> and, and Jim, it, it was quite magical. Uh, normally we talk about uh, teams and, and highlights and scores, but we're not talking about the Phillies, Jamie, the Sixers, the Flyers, or the Eagles. There's no highlights. There's no score. We're talking about the fact that we lost the captain of our team. And he truly was, Keith. I, it was such a pleasure coming to work with him every day. I, I feel like we were so lucky and so blessed to have that chance. I know the viewers feel so lucky to have brought him into their homes for so many years, but to be able to get to experience Gary Papa and his element day in and day out was something truly special because you could walk into the office and he might be standing on his head doing a yoga pose <laughs> or blasting his iPhone with the with the lights off and doing his uh, DJ moves or or, or how about how about <laughs> how about the change on the desk how about every time you needed a soda he had nothing but coins <laughs> probably a spread all bucks over up his there desk right now. you could always go get a soda you could always get a sharpie he had a well, million Well, you couldn't sharpies. really get a Sharpie because they'd have the cap off and they'd be blood drying ink. Because where would the ink be, Keith? All over his jeans. <laughs> All everywhere. over his jeans. The same pair of jeans. All the time. No, but I think he had a couple. I think he ruined multiple times. Did you guys know, I don't know if the viewers at home knew, um, Gary had some trouble matching his ties to his suits. And he'd wear the same pink tie every day. And when I first got here, I'm like, Gary, I know you love that tie, but how about a new one? And he's like, I can't match him. So every day down in our makeup room, I would look at what shirt he was wearing, and I'd just put a tie on the doorknob. And sure enough, he'd pick it up, and he learned to dress. And, and how fast did he dress? <laughs> I mean, going down to the studio like five minutes before the sports cast, and he had on plain clothes. Yes. And I would say, how fast can a man get dressed? Pretty amazing. <laughs> but all of what we learned, Jamie, I think it goes without saying, we will carry forward. You, uh, Jeff Skaberski, and myself, we will do our best to, to keep the legacy of Gary Papa in the sports department alive. No one will ever replace Gary Papa. Gary Papa will always be six ABC Sports, um, but we will try to have his passion throw, show through us. And what you didn't see, now we will show you.